Isoka Gasm number two, and it gets weirder and weirder, I'm told. Looks like we're starting off strong with you continuing to use made up words for sins. That shit is indeed heavy, but they should still be able to lift it, especially with two hands. Don't get me wrong, it's heavy, but it's easily doable for an adult, and these are hunters. I think you're forgetting the fact that none of them are actually adults though, so the argument of them being an adult doesn't work and being a hunter isn't entirely strength based. No doubt you're correct, but you were only there for the very end so you wouldn't really know either way would you? Very, very high chance he would though, since it's a game he played with Goto countless times so he'd know how Goto plays it. Considering how pretty much everything else is normal in this world in reference to our own world, such as cars and buildings and such, it's odd that every blimp needs an odd looking smiley face on the front of it. It may take inspiration, but it's still a fictional world, and it's not the only vehicle to be shown with that smile, so it's probably a brand. But what's worth more than the glory of having defeated your enemy? I'll tell you what's worth more, MONEY! When you reach the 200th floor, you'll have probably already made enough money from all your previous fights and you get a free house, so that's why they don't give you any more money. I hope their insurance covers the use of weird battle techniques. Does it really matter? Zushi isn't on the 200th floor, so he would still make money, so they could afford the repairs. Man, this dude is into some weird fetish type shit. Oh my lord. How does his design have any negative effect on the show? Like, I really don't understand how his design is a sin. All of this amazing stuff, and you still don't get paid. My point from earlier applies to this too. My guess is that he'll survive and the series won't come to a rather abrupt end at episode 30 with his untimely death and funeral. The thing is though, what's stopping that from happening? There's three other main characters, those obviously being Leorio, Karapika and Kiloa. I must say, I greatly wonder what the hell he is doing with the right side of his body to have his shirt in a perpetual state of untouchedness. Why are you looking so deep into something that's clearly a recurring joke? Hisoka Weirdogasm number three! Using the same made up word for the third time now. What about if he'd just decided to take it off as it was annoyingly in the way, or maybe he peed on it a little one night when he was super tired? Would it have worked then? You really think P would cause an object that has an end bound to it would cause it not to work? Stop! How exactly is he Soka being naked a sin? Stop! It's already established that he Soka has a few screws loose. Stop sinning it. You're beating a dead horse. Would you rather him not follow his character traits and just change entirely? It's time to stop! Get used to it already, you don't need to point out every questionable thing Hisoka does. Hisoka incredibly weird orgasm number 4 and probably one of the worst bloody ones so far. I can take the rest but I really wish he'd consider not moaning like he does in that really creepy way. Using the same made up word and you're sinning the show for making the character act like his manga counterpart did. What? What the fuck? Character design isn't a sin of the show. If anything, it should be praised as it's manga accurate. 